hi and hello and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years. By now, you would have all heard the news that the mortgage stress test requirements are being lifted for renewing borrowers who basically are going to be changing lenders. This is good news for one and one reason only. The banks will now fight to keep you if you are a good client and your mortgage is actually making them money. Well, no matter how you look at it, your mortgage is always making the banks earn the big bucks while you can the privilege of boasting that this is my home. So how will this new rule impact people whose mortgages are coming up for renewal? Let's discuss. But first, be a sweetheart and please hit the like, share, subscribe button and the bell icon. It really gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. Now, the real idea of this move is basically to improve competition among big banks to post lower interest rates for those renewing their mortgage because Canada's banking regulators will no longer require banks to apply the mortgage stress test to borrowers who are planning to switch lenders. Now, remember this term, it's just switch, okay? not renewals, not equity takeouts. Now, the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, that's OSFI, confirmed that they intend to inform lenders that the regulator will end its expectation of applying the stress test to mortgage holders looking to renew with another lender. Now, when exactly this is going to come into play, that we are yet to see. But the minimum qualifying rate or the stress test for the uninsured mortgages is currently sitting at around 5.25% or 2 percentage points higher than your actual mortgage rate that's being offered to you by the bank, whichever of the two is the highest. Now, in the stress test, buyers must prove that they are able to afford a mortgage rate 2% higher than the actual mortgage rate that they are getting. Now, note, again, I'm going to repeat myself this is only for uninsured mortgages that are residential mortgages with equity of 20 percent or more so for those who don't know when you go to renew your mortgage or let's say you refinance your mortgage the banks are only allowed to go up to 80 percent of the value of your home anything more than 80 percent the file has to be insured through the insurer so the idea here is that anyone who is renewing their mortgage already has around 20 percent equity in the home and hence can qualify to renew without any stress test. One more thing to note here that OSFI's new rule is for straight switches of uninsured mortgages at renewal. And a straight switch means the borrower will keep the same amortization schedule which is the length of time that it takes you to pay off the mortgage and keeps the same current loan amount. If you plan on taking equity out, then this rule will no longer apply to you and you will be subject to stress test. Now, the question is, why did OSPI make this decision all of a sudden? Well, according to them, apparently they listened to what people within the industry kept saying. And also they heard from Canadians who talk about the imbalance between insured and uninsured mortgages at the time of mortgage renewal. But they also looked at the data over time and realize that the prudential risks that this was intended to address have not significantly materialized. And as prudential regulators, they wanted to enable banks and lenders to compete and take reasonable risks. Now, I personally think this is a brilliant move because I have been saying this for some time that there should be two people who should not face the stress test. First time home buyers, if they agree to lock themselves for a five year fixed and people who are just switching their mortgage and not taking any equity out. Because really, the stress test made it more difficult for borrowers to even switch banks and their existing lenders would often provide a higher interest rate upon renewal, knowing fully well that their clients were unlikely to move to a new lender. Now, people will call a few lenders to see what their best interest rates are and come back to their existing lenders who will then probably match the best offer. So guys, if you are up for renewal, wait until the lender sends you the renewal document and call a professional, experienced mortgage broker who will tell you what the best interest rate is out there. And then go back to your lender and say, look, my mortgage broker tells me that this is what they can get. Will you match it? And dollars to donuts, they will. And if for any reason they cannot, well, you have another avenue. But as long as you are not pulling any equity out, 
So all I can say now is let the war begin because the more choice people have, the more incentive it gives banks to provide the best possible pricing to their customers. Well, tell me what you think about this new rule in the comment section below. And if you found this information useful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. And if you still don't know who I am, go check my rating on Google and read my client reviews. Join me next week for more information. Until then, you stay safe and thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home.